Number 1. Town Hall. Calais Town Hall has a 75-meter-high belfry that is part of a UNESCO site straddling the French and Belgian border, made up of towers within the old Duchy of Burgundy and the historic county of Flanders. It may look historic from a distance, but it's actually from the 20th century, designed in a Renaissance revival style. Number 2. Burgers of Calais. In front of the town hall on the edge of the Parc Saint-Pierre is one of Auguste Rodin's best-known works. It was unveiled in 1895 and was designed to honor the self-sacrifice of six of Calais leaders after a year-long siege from 1346 to 1347 that was part of the 100 Years' War. Number 3. La Cite de la Dentelité de la Mode. The city of lace and fashion reveals the past and present of lace manufacturing. By 1902 there were 80 looms in operation here, and such was the weight and power of these iron and steel machines, the walls of the U-shaped building had to slope outwards to serve as a counterbalance. Number 4. Musée de la Guerre de Calais. Also in the Parc Saint-Pierre is a Nazi bunker almost 200 meters in length. When you get to the entrance you'll understand how it could have escaped bomb damage in the war, as the structure is completely cloaked by the park's foliage in summer. Number 5. Calais Lighthouse. The city's 53-meter-high lighthouse was completed in 1848 and also managed to escape damage in the Second World War. The main attraction is at the top, where on a clear day you can make out the white cliffs of Dover. Number 6. Musée de Beaux Arts de Calais. The museum concentrates on French, Dutch, and Flemish art from a variety of eras, with Garrett van Honthorst and Balthasar van der Ast from the Dutch Golden Age, and Eugene Boudin, perhaps the most important French painter, on display. Number 7. Corgain Maritime. The art museum and lighthouse are both in Corgon Maritime, Calais Historic Fishing District. Like most of the city there isn't much evidence of medieval architecture because of the considerable destruction during the wars, but eagle-eyed and informed visitors can find lots of exciting vestiges. Number 8. City Parks. Many people waiting for their ferry, or fresh off the boat, will stop in Park Richelieu to get some fresh air and stretch their legs. Park Saint-Pierre has more of a French feel, as you'll notice from the locals playing petanque. Number 9. Calais Beach. On a hot day you could do a lot worse than head down to the city's beach, a little way to the west of the port. Many bathers might find the waters a bit brisk, but they're shallow and safe, as the beach has a very low gradient. Number 10. Cap Blancnez and Escals. Continue west along the seafront and things get a bit more spectacular. Just over 10 kilometers from Calais is Cap Blancnez, a headland with soaring white chalk cliffs that are the mirror image of those in Dover. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.